What's going on guys? Welcome to week 13. Another quick update here on the Heisman uh, watch. Brandon Campbell has climbed to number one on the list after his 200 yard performance with four touchdowns last week. So really solid there. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the matchup. Uh, we've got actually a kind of tough road game here on the road against Arizona. Seven and three on the season. They, um, they have 93 overall, pretty much 93 offense, 93 defense. Um, so not a terrible team by any means. Um, we do have the number one rush defense in the country and the number two rush offense in the country. Um, their rush offense is 91, so don't anticipate them being able to run the ball, but they have a really good pass offense, and we've got a pretty mediocre pass defense. And uh, they're dominating in terms of turnover differential this season at number 13 in the country, so uh, it should be a actually pretty tough game. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see what happens. We are on the road this week against a tough 7-3 Arizona team. Historically, kind of struggled a little bit more on the road than at home, so hopefully we can shake that a little bit in this one. Arizona's going to get the ball first. Uh, Fifita goes over the middle to Jones, and he's going to pick up 15 yards and a first down here on their opening drive. Next play, first and 10 across the middle. Somehow gets it to, uh, to Riley there over the middle. He's going to pick up another 20 yards, get across midfield, and... Arizona's moving the ball here in this opening drive. But on third and eight, he's going to find his receiver on the left sideline, but he can't stay in bounds. That's going to force them to have to punt the ball. First drive for us, option keeper for Coley. He's got a big lane up the middle. He picks up 22. That's going to get us out near midfield on our opening drive. Second and two, a couple plays later, pass over to Donato. He's, he's got it over there on the left side. Gets down to about the 30-yard line. We're driving. Screen pass over to Campbell. He's got a lane. Gets a block. Cuts it back outside. Makes a man miss. And gets down inside the 10 to about the 7. And on third and goal, Coley drops back and finds Manjack over the middle. He's got a 10-yard touchdown. And we are going to go up 7-0 here midway through the first quarter. Next drive for Arizona. Play action. Pass over the middle to Riley. He's got another reception for 17 yards this time. And Arizona's back in our territory once again. Fifth looking on third and 17. And he goes down. Garfield Lawrence ended up with five sacks today. Just a monster. Fumble on the next drive from Coley on the option. And that's going to be picked up by Arizona here late in the first quarter. Early second quarter here. Third and 15. Fifth He's going down again. It's Garfield Lawrence. And uh, he's going to have another sack on a huge day for him next drive for us option pitch out to Jenkins he cuts it back inside and makes a man miss and he's got a lane down the right sideline he may take this all the way he's got one man to beat he shakes the tackle avoids the sideline and gets in on the huge touchdown run so Parker Jenkins able to shine a little bit here in this one but on the screen pass they're able to get Stevie Rocker Jr. Uh, out on the edge for a gain of 15 and a first down. Fifita on third and nine off his back foot. Somehow gets that to A.J. Jones for 20 yards. And they're in the red zone. Third and four looking. He's hit as he throws. The pass is dropped. Would have been short anyways. And that's going to be fourth and four. They take the th three points there. On third and five on our next drive, we find Manjack on the curl route. He's got it for 15 yards. Going to keep this drive alive. First and 10, minute and minute and 30 left in the first half. Pass over the middle to Manjack. He's tripped up at about the 40. And we're trying to uh, manage this clock like we always do right before the half. Third and seven, though. Wide open down the right side is Dalton Carnes. Well, not wide open, but he had a few steps. And he's able to pull it in for the diving catch and a touchdown. So that's going to give us a 21-3 lead going into halftime. Really dominating in this one so far. Third and six on our first drive of the second half. Pass over to Burns, who's open. He's got a one man to beat. He's taken down, but he is able to get in for the touchdown. So Coley, seven of eight, 155, and three touchdowns already in this one. First and ten for Arizona. Pass on the right sideline. McCutcheon comes down with a pick. Looked like his foot was out of bounds, but... The refs don't call for a review, so we get the ball back. Coley on the option keeper. He pitches it out to Campbell. Campbell's got a lane on the outside, cuts it back in, gets a block. He's down across midfield. He's the 40, going across the 20, and he's got one man to beat. He's tripped up just shy of the goal line. 
but he does get 74 yards on the play. We're going to hurry it up here to make sure that we get Campbell that touchdown. Quick handoff to him. He's able to get in, make it 35-3 here midway through the third. Option play for Coley. He fumbles it again. This time Davis for the defense picks it up, and they've got the ball down inside the 30. Trying to get on the board with a touchdown here for the first time today, late in the second quarter. Deep pass down the right sideline on third and long. He finds Malachi Riley. He gets a 33-yard touchdown. So it's 35-10 now, second and five on our next drive. Coley's going to keep it himself on the option. He spins down inside the 25 to about the 23. A couple plays later, third and goal, handoff up the middle. And it's uh, Brandon Campbell once again. Third and 14. They're going to run the draw play. Rocker's not able to get any yards there. Loses a couple. They have to punt. Next drive, Coley on the option keeper. Makes a move. Gets a block. Gets down inside the 15. Gain of 21. Coley's close to 100 yards on the day. First and 10. Coley over the middle to Carnes. He gets it on the slant and has brought down about a half yard short of the goal line. Next play, first and goal, handoff up the middle. Brandon Campbell's got another one. 49-10 early in the fourth quarter. Fifita on third and one. That pass is getting swatted down at the line of scrimmage. And they are going to elect a punt here on fourth and one. So backups are in now. Screen pass, but he sees Donato wide open streaking down the right side. And he gets it for a 28-yard touchdown. So Uiale gets a passing touchdown on the day as well. Third and six for for um, Arizona. That's not going to work. It's fourth and four. They end up punting. And we're going to take this clock all the way down to zero and get out of here with a 56-10 to 10 win on the road in conference play. Brandon Campbell, 114 yards, three touchdowns. So just a dominant win on the road. Kind of how this season's been going so far, which, you know, it's hard to complain about but 547 to 192 in terms of total offense they had negative 34 yards rushing in the game with all these sacks I think we had 10 sacks on the game as a team half of those were from Lawrence and here are your top 25 matchups for week 13 number 11 Toledo is gonna fall to Ohio 23 to 17 Number four, Bama gets a 40 to 10 win over number 17, Florida. Hawaii is going to go to eight and three after a win over number 25, Boise. Clemson's going to get a 42-35 win over number 22, Boston College. In overtime, Tennessee is going to take down number 21, Vanderbilt, 35-28. South Carolina is going to take down number 19, Auburn, 34 to 20. And that's going to do it for this week's top 25 matchups. We're going to go ahead and advance to week 14. All right, this week we've got Joe Fort to commit at defensive end. Let's go ahead and look at the scouting report on him. All right, Joe Fort, 6'3", 293, pass rusher, three-star guy uh, out of Florida. He's got 85 acceleration, 98 stamina, pretty good block shedding overall, pretty good tackling overall. I think he's going to be a stud. All right, that's going to do it for this one. We are going to pick it up next week for uh, the game at TCU, our final regular season game. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for that one, and we will see you guys there.